Hi, my name is Martin Perhiniak. Welcome to Photoshop PSD Touch Plus. In this tutorial, I will talk about how to use the preset manager in Photoshop, how to work with brushes, custom shapes, tool presets, swatches, gradients, styles, and patterns. All this cool stuff that you can use to extend Photoshop and to customize the way you work with the tools and layers. After the preset manager, I will also talk about how to change keyboard shortcuts and how to save them as sets, because you can also export keyboard shortcuts if you want to use the same on another machine. And you can even save workspaces, which again, you can save out as files and then use it on another computer. So let's just start it with the preset manager. And uh, you can find that under the edit menu, there's the preset manager, so edit preset manager. And here you can see all the options that you can use with this dialog box. So first of all, we have brushes and then we can go to the other options. But first, let's just start with the brushes. The way we can show the installed brushes can be defined by clicking on this little arrow. And here we can choose these options. You can show only the brush names in a list as text only or have them as small thumbnails. When you have small thumbnail with brushes, you can also see the, their sizes. Then I can go to large thumbnails to have a closer look at them. You can choose small list with a small thumbnail plus the name of the brush. Have a large list or the last one, the stroke thumbnails. I prefer to use this for brushes because here I can actually see the strokes. But now I just switch back to the small thumbnail option. And if I want to save a specific set of brushes or load, I can always use these options here on the right. First, let me just load another set of brushes. I'm going to load the special effect brushes also from this drop down. So I just select that. And whenever you want to load another set, and it applies not only to brushes, but also to the other preset types. So whenever you want to load a new set, you can always append or just simply replace with the actual set. If you click on append, that means you will add those special brushes to the brushes that you already had in the preset manager. If I now decide to save this as a set, I can select them all by clicking on the last brush and then shift click on the first brush. That means I selected all of them. Then I click on save set and I can save this. And the file extension is ABR. That's the brushes file extension for Photoshop. And you can save it anywhere. I think I will save it here into the preset manager folder. And I just call this brushes. So that's the way you can save your brushes. If you want to save less, then you just select the ones that you would like to save as a separate brush. For example, I select these and I click on save set and I will call this hair brushes or just simply hair. I saved it into the same folder. And now just to show you how to load them back again, I will show you by selecting these brushes here which I just saved as hair brushes and I click on delete. Okay. Then I click on load. I select hair. I click on open and they are already loaded back to my set. So saving and loading back your brushes are really simple. And if you learn it with brushes, you can easily do it with all the other preset types. So for example, swatches, let's just save some special swatches from this image. Okay, so I click on done. And I open my swatches panel window and select swatches. Okay, I can put that here as a floating panel, the swatches. And we can also make it make the, the thumbnails larger from the, the drop down menu, I just select large thumbnail. And then I use the eyedropper tool, selecting it from the toolbar, and I click on a color from the image. By the way, in CS5, we have this very clever uh, preview of a 
selected color where we see the previously selected color and we can select a different color and then see the difference between the two. I think that's really clever. But let me just select first this purple color. And if I want to save that, because now that's my foreground color, I can click on new swatch and it's automatically created here. If I don't need these other colors, the best to go to the preset manager again. So if I only want to use this and maybe other colors from this set, I can go to edit, preset manager, choose swatches. And for example, if I only need the last four colors, I can select all the other colors and delete them. And if I click on done, then in my swatches panel, I will all only have these four colors. Let me just select another color from the image. So this one, I save that as well. And I select another one, this one, and I save that as well. Now, if I want to save this as a set, I can save it into a file. Again, you can do that from the drop down in the swatches panel or go to the preset manager. I will go now to the preset manager. And here I select these colors and I click on save set. Now swatches can be saved into different formats, but I prefer this format for the swatches. And um, this, this is for Photoshop. So I will save it into the previous folder and I just call it colors. Now I click on this little arrow and I load in some standard colors. For example, spot colors, Pantone pastel coated colors. And I click on OK. If I click on OK, I will lose these colors. OK, so instead of clicking on Append, I click on OK. So these are the colors from that set. And if I want to load the previously saved, saved colors together with these. Again, I cl can click on load, select my colors and click on open. And now I have the Pantone colors and the colors that I saved. Under the swatches panel, you have two different options, save swatches or save swatches for exchange. If you click on save swatches, you will save to ACO file format, which is for Photoshop. But if you click on save swatches for exchange that will save into another format called ASE which can be easily imported into Illustrator or InDesign but it works the same way as the previously showed option. If you want to reset any preset you can always do that again from the drop down menu or from preset manager. For example if I want to reset the swatches I can go to reset swatches and I can click on OK and then I will get back to the original uh, default settings. Now I go back to Bridge and I just would like to show you that all of these presets can be saved into files and these are the actual files. They even have these icons so whenever you store them on your computer you can see which one is a swatch or pattern or brush. And from Bridge, if you double click on any of these files, let's say I double click on the pattern file, it will automatically load it into Photoshop. So now if I go to the preset manager and I select patterns, those patterns are automatically imported into the preset manager. And if I, let's say I just create a new document, I double click on the background layer. I just put the swatches uh, panel here. And then I double click on this again. And I choose pattern overlay. From the patterns, I automatically have these options. And I can select the patterns that I just imported into Photoshop.